Hi everybody, this is Gary Dean with Sentiment Timing and this is our technical video report for Monday, June 10th, 2024. So back home again uh, at my desk, have all my stuff and today was kind of like a lifeless day. Even though the S&P finished up 13, it was really a whole lot of nothing going on. But um, I'm going to just go through the the basics as far as the wave structure right here so this one i have marked down as a wave three we had an abc wave four and now what is going on is we're making this wave five and the reason why this is a little bit dangerous right now assuming that it has a lot more to go is you can see we have one two three uh four five so wait one two three four five that that's it so we already have five waves now it doesn't mean that this can't there's there's a little squiggles in here that can extend this long uh higher up but in any case we're we, you know we're, we're coming in with bearish divergences on the 60 minute chart we're gonna have bearish divergences on the daily chart and it, it's uh, I you know everybody's just kind of looking high again and and the problem that I'm seeing is that they're going back to the same thing again meaning that you know they're they're banking that the Fed's going to say something on Wednesday and you know it's going to trigger the next you know huge run I, you know I think that's that's built I don't care what he says if he said he's he's cutting rates by two two basis points. Um, it's baked into this market already. So it's not anything, you know, I it's I don't know why they're fixated on this, uh, on the Fed and lower rates. If you go back in history, uh, what we encountered during, you know, 2009 all the way into, uh, you know, uh, 2020, basically, was interest rates that were forced down by the Fed. They were kept down. They didn't go through the regular business cycles. And now the Fed is stuck between a rock and a hard place. They played this game to keep the market up, keep the bankers happy, and now they're stuck right now. So it, it's a you know I, I'm I don't I don't really understand this whole thing. But interest rates, normal interest rates, are pretty much where they are right now. It's not there. It's not the, the two percent is not normal, and people have to come to that realization that you know it, it, you it, we're not going to be back there. I, I don't believe we'll ever be back there unless we're in a Great Depression too. You know, so right now I don't really see it, but in any case, so as I mentioned, you have to be a little bit careful just because we could have five waves already. Now, I don't know if it is because another way that you can kind of look at this if we just kind of zoomed in is one, two, one, two, three, four, five. Now we made a four and we're making another five. It, it's the squiggle stuff and I don't really want to confuse you with it, but there's reasons to say that we can head higher just to form another, you know, wave five of five. But the, as, as people that have been following me for quite some time, uh, it's a, you know, getting long on wave fives. I don't care if the Fed is coming out on Wednesday or not. You're asking for trouble. Doesn't mean that you we can't head up and you do well. Uh, uh, risk reward? Absolutely not. I wouldn't go near that. If anything, you move to cash, you wait for the top to actually be in and we take out support and then you could short it. But I think buying up here is is very, very dangerous. So the we had this drop. This was off of the uh, the uh, NF, uh, non-farm payroll number. So we came down there, they bid it, they, they, we, we actually closed right around here and then we gapped down. Uh, some today and then that this is when I was on a plane and they bidded it back up so here you can see ABC now the thing is that makes this a little bit interesting is from this high to this low a typical retracement is anywhere from a 62 to a 78 percent retracement you can see that's exactly where we hit where sellers stepped in now if they get above it the next line is going to be these previous highs so it could be a double top it could be this is just our wave a b and now we're making a wave c down uh so it, it's a again we're we're not in that any concrete you know where if you pound the table to go long or short right now but what we do know we have bearish divergences on the 15 minute chart we have them on the 60s and we have them on the daily charts and on top of that unless it fixes itself uh there's a NIAD sell signal. So I, you know, I, I'm just thinking it's very, very risky right now on the long side. So let's just get down to where we are. So if the bulls take out this uh, 3566, we're coming up to the 5375 uh, area. If the bears can get it through this uh, 
the, the, the 53.47, the support is going to be down at the 53.30. Below that, then we're just looking at a move coming down to test the moving average on the 15-minute chart. There's the 200. That's down at 53.21, and that should be the 50-day. on. Yeah, it's pretty close, 50-day on the 60-minute chart. But if they get through this, that's where we, you know, we could see a little bit of a bigger drop, and we're coming down to the 52.55. So I would be a little bit careful. Uh, I, you know, I was a little surprised. Surprised that they they actually brought the markets up this much today. I mean, they they were bidding everything, so it seems like there's an underlying uh, fixation to get long before this Fed meeting. But in any case, I'd be I you know I'm just throwing out a rule rule of caution here because there there's danger signs out there and and they could trigger at any time. So let's see what plays out tomorrow. Have a great night, and I'll talk to you guys in the morning.